Hello guys, once again, it's Matt and today we have another video. So yeah, happy Christmas again, guys. And yeah, let's get into it. Thank you all the members. Thank you all the Patreons. And yeah, subscribe. We're trying to hit 15,000 subscribers until the end of the year. So we have like a week. So help me out there. We are almost there, but I feel like we are not going to do it. But still, make sure to subscribe. And let's get into it. So, yeah, let's talk about, again, about tornadoes and the German one. So, yeah, this is the best one. It is the most fun one that you can play. It is the fastest one. And it has the best engine. That's uh, pretty much it. Uh, the bombs are the normal Mark 83s. It doesn't have the Mark 13s that the UK one has. Um, which makes it a little bit less effective to destroy bases. But just having the 12 kilonewtons extra combining the two powers of the engines, the two engines, uh, make it, makes it a very, very good uh, aircraft. And yeah, it has its problems. I know a lot of people are complaining that this aircraft is just bad. And I already did a video about talking about the GR1, which is the worst one. Uh, but to be honest, I'm not going to repeat myself on, on that. Let talk, let's talk a little bit more about the German one. But um, the main thing, I just wanted to say that the main thing about these tornadoes is that they're bombers, man. They're interdictors. They're not made for air combat. They're not made for uh, CAS even. They're really, really good. They're probably the best out there right now uh, as a bomber because they're the fastest bomber that can deal with two bases and a little bit more uh, in the game. I don't think we have any other aircraft that can fly faster than it with the amount of payload that it has. Uh, so, yeah, it is the best interdictor, interdictor striker low altitude bomber, right? Of course, we will have to need to be added the F-111 and the Su-24. So we will need to wait to see how those perform as well. But it will probably be similar to the G Tornado. Very bad at turning, not very good at air combat, but very good at bombing at low altitudes. Of course, it can do CAS. Uh, with the guided bombs they actually fix it and now you can actually use four guided bombs instead of this just two or one of the bigger ones and two more so yeah and with this version having the better engine in a ground battle will be the best option for it to climb basically because we will not be able to to just avoid a sam any sam to be honest because the aircraft just doesn't turn so having the speed helps a little bit getting higher and then you can actually use it as kind of a precision strike cas aircraft right but to be honest not even with that it's that good uh to be honest if there is sams on the site it is going to be a problem uh i think the best aircraft there will be more aircraft that are better than this at cas and of course better aircraft than this uh for the air to air but at precision um, low altitude bombing this is what we get man this is the main thing and that's why we need a little bit more of different maps and different objectives for these aircraft if not they will be very limited uh, I think they will be not fun to fly and not being fun to fly means that these aircraft will be used only for grinding something um, and then after that it will be completely useless because people will get frustrated flying it so if we if we don't get more types of objectives and just bigger maps in general or at least more spread out mission objectives during a map these aircraft will be obsolete very quickly and it will be losing the fun factor very 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 quickly so yeah even the german one which is the best one and even uh, with the marine flicker version which will be a little bit more fun because it has a different factor to it of the anti-ship missiles Still with that, it is going to be limited and people already kind of don't care about it right now. Imagine once we get more advanced 4th generation aircraft and the objectives and stuff of air battles are the same. This aircraft will just completely dive on a sparrow of nobody playing it. So, I don't know, it's just, it's a very fun aircraft to fly. I love, especially the German one. Uh, it is enjoyable to fly, you just relax and go bombing. Right? If you die, it doesn't care, the aircraft is bad, so you kind of don't get frustrated. But still, uh, most people will get frustrated and eventually it will be obsolete. I mean, it's already kind of obsolete, so it is problematic. I don't know if they are going to change the BR of it or anything like that. Probably not for now, but because of the A9Ls and the speed of the aircraft is pretty good. It's just that it doesn't turn anything. 
the fair amounts are very limited, so it is a very difficult aircraft to fly, right? But for its objective, it's amazing. So if they add more types of objectives like that, the aircraft will be amazing at doing that. It's the same thing as the anti-ship version coming up and you never get a map with ships, for example. What's the point of having the aircraft? There is no point. So, yeah, of course, there is always the simulator battles factor to it, that aircraft like this will always be a little bit better there. But that's the thing, man. There you have a big map that you can actually try to hide from targets. I know a lot of people are saying, oh my god, but it's so boring when you try to find somebody and, and you cannot find it. Yeah, imagine being the one playing that aircraft and being the last one in the battle and being scared of doing anything and you cannot do anything and you just give up and land and jay out. It's not fun for anybody, right? So with more objectives like this, more types of anti-ship kind of things or, or anti-radiations kind of things, the air battles will be more um, like a, a little bit better to play with these aircraft. And if you ask me, why am I talking about air battles? This is an attacker. It's supposed to be used on the ground battles. Well, as I said, man, I don't think this is going to be a very good aircraft for that as well. The stem sites will, the, the, stem, the AA systems are going to destroy you, man. Because um, this aircraft is not the fastest thing ever. It will take time to get up uh, at altitude. The matches are not that long. And once you get up there, the AA systems can still kill you. And you won't be able to actually turn and evade the missile. You're just going to die. And that's basically the only way that I th can think of of actually using this aircraft effectively with the guided bombs. If you try to do an interdictor kind of role in the ground battles, still it's going to be very interesting, but I mean, it's not going to be precise and you're probably not going to kill too many players anyway. So it's problematic, right? So as I said, this aircraft is meant to do one thing, flying low and destroying big targets. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, as I said, at least this version is the best one. And with the extra power, you can actually outrun some of the aircraft that you fly it. fight. Uh, it is an 11.3 aircraft, so um, you are going to face a lot of down tiers. And with the down tiers, you can get uh, a lot of kills with the m 9 So, yeah, it's, it's complicated, I know. It's fun at the same time, but complicated. And for example, especially for Germany with this one, it's the only tornado that you will ever get. I mean, it's the IDS, right? So they will not get the ADV. So it doesn't get pretty much better than this. I mean, maybe we get a more modernized version of the tornado, but I really doubt it. And even with that, I mean, it's not going to have anything changed. Maybe a new IR missile or something like that. But beyond that, it's the same. So I don't know, at least the British have the ADV coming probably soon. Already confirmed by Zmin that it's coming. So, yeah, that, that thing will be a little bit better even just for having BVR and better missiles, right? In the air-to-air -air combat. So, yeah, my advice is don't use this aircraft as an air-to-air um, -air machine. Use it as a bomber. Get your bombs. You can take a lot of bombs. I mean, 12 Mark 83s is a lot of bombs. You can destroy two bases in a little bit more. So, yeah, use for that. Just try to fly with friends, maybe. That helps a lot. Fly low, always fly low, get your bases and go back to base or try to hunt people that are uns unsuspected with your missiles. Uh, the Imanel is still one of the best missiles in the game, so you can use always use that. And the cannon is pretty good as well. So, yeah, but basically this is it, guys. It is a controversial aircraft, a lot of people dislike it. I love it, just because it's a more chilled um, kind of environment to play in, but still it's problematic, right? Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed um, make sure to subscribe, happy Christmas again, and I see you guys tomorrow, so, yeah, bye, guys, bye, see ya, subscribe.